Or you're not going to get in God's kingdom if you're living in sin. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, He who sins is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifest that He might destroy the works of the devil. Oh, Jesus is going to destroy the works of the devil when He returns in His glory in His kingdom. That's right. Oh, you better not be caught sleeping on that day. You better not be caught naked on that day. The Bible says, Blessed are those who keep their garments that they be not found naked when Jesus returns and they see he sees their shame. Uh, there's a shame to sin. The Bible says that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Homosexual marriage is a reproach to this country. Your legalizing marijuana is a reproach to America. Your drunkenness is a reproach to America. Jesus is called the stone the builders rejected. But He's become the chief cornerstone. He's a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. Rejected indeed by men, but chosen and precious by God. Oh, I tell you, whoever, whoever puts their trust in Him will not be put to shame. Oh, but I tell you, if you deny Jesus, if you live for yourself in sin, you will perish. You will likewise perish. There will be no remedy. The Bible says, He who stiffens his neck after many rebukes will be suddenly destroyed and that without remedy. I'm afraid for America. I'm afraid many of you have just stiffened your neck to the Bible, to the Word of God. And you've already decided in your heart that you're going to live in sin. You've already decided in your heart you're not going to serve God. You've already decided in your heart you're going to drink your drink and smoke your smoke and do what you want to do. Oh, you can't be saved that way. There's no hope in that. The only hope is in Jesus. The only hope is you repenting. The only hope is you turning to Him by faith and surrendering your life to Him. Taking up your cross and denying yourself and following Him. Jesus said, wide is the road that leads to destruction and many go there and narrow is the way that leads to life and there is few that find it. Oh, it's a narrow road. You gotta come, you gotta get on the highway of holiness. Turn to the living God. Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You must be born again. You gotta be changed. You gotta get out of this sinful nature. And you gotta come into the divine nature. You need to get the Holy Spirit in you. The Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Oh, I'm led by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God turns you away from pornography. The Spirit of God turns you away from drunkenness, from cigarette smoking. The Spirit of God turns you away from a potty mouth. It turns you to holiness and righteousness. Oh, be conformed to the image of His Son, Jesus, the author and finisher of faith. Oh, what are you really living for? You know, the Bible says that these lusts that you're given into, they're just temporary. They're fleeting before you. The Bible says that all flesh is as grass, and the glory of man is as the flower of grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but he that does the will of God will abide forever. I'm going to abide forever in the kingdom of Jesus Christ. He's coming back. He's coming back for a pure and spotless bride without any wrinkle or blemish. Oh, you need to be found in Him before it's too late. You can die any time in your sins. You can die tonight if you die in your sins. There'll be no hope for you. There'll be no, no, no forgiveness. That forgiveness is found only in Jesus. He's God in the flesh. He's the one that died for us on the cross. He's the one that rose from the dead. He's the only one that can die for our sins. Because He is the Son of God that gave His life. Oh, it's, it's history, folks. It happened. It's real. The Spirit's real. Conviction is real. God's shown every man plainly. 
that they need a Savior, that they can't go on in their sin. Oh, if you continue to live in your sin, you're going to perish in your sin. You need the gift of God, eternal life in Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 6, Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How can we who have died to sin live any longer in it? Now we live in a time where you can't even pass out Christian literature without getting cited by the police. That's right. On, on Independence Day. On Independence Day. You can't even give out the gospel without the police giving you a citation for giving out something about Jesus. Uh, who? And then calling it and then calling it propaganda. Don't forget about the dinosaurs, people. The dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 1, How long will you simple ones love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning. Turn in my rebuke. Surely I will pour my spirit out on you. I will make my words known to you. That's a promise from God. There's a right? Right? There's a brontosaurus. We're going to look, I don't know, something tearing it into dawn or something. Don't forget about the dinosaurs. We all love them. Okay? We all love Jesus too. But we do it in a different way. No, no, you do what you want to do. Yeah, yeah, we are. You're going to pay for it. We're going to pay for it. Yeah, you are. I'm going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. You're going to have hell. What are you guys doing? You're going to die in your sin. Really? Yeah. We're mockers. All right, when I was a kid, I loved places that didn't exist. So I can't wait to get there. It's going to be freaking awesome. Not a joke. Y'all know God exists. It's explained to you because God has shown it to you. The Bible says it. The Bible says in Romans 1 that you're all without excuse before God. Oh, God made everything. Oh, God made everything. Perfect. Careful. God made everything. What about my beer? God made everything good, but man has sought out many schemes. God made you to live holy, but you don't. God made, God made, God made, God made the marriage bed to be undefiled, but when you look at pornography and you have gay marriage, you twist the meaning of the things that God made good. So no, God, 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 took, God took the rib of, of, Eve, of Adam and he made Eve out of it. Holy crap. That makes so much sense, doesn't it? If you think about it, really, how are we lonely? How are we lonely? Well, it does make sense because today they take DNA and they can clone things. So it makes oh, a lot of sense. Just today. But you, you don't use your oh, oh, God. God. these things. So wait, 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 wait. DNA, Jesus DNA, Christ. blood. Jesus Christ. They make, they so make that's things up. science thing though, dude. Well, it's in the Bible. Oh, you know what? Science is the, the, Bible? Pope, the Pope finally admitted to it. Actually, the, actually the Bible is all true. It's all science. That's a beard. You, the whoa, things you believe, whoa, 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 the, the things whoa, whoa, I observe whoa, whoa, about you whoa. show that you're on your way to perdition. Because oh, you're so you know me. Yeah, I do. I know you are. Know you do. You're living with the devil, the man. You're living in sin. He that sins is all if you continue to live in sin, you're of the devil. You need to repent. A lot of you out there looking at pornography. You're not going to go to heaven doing those things. The Bible says no sexually immoral person will inherit the kingdom of God. First Corinthians 6, 9. That's in the Bible. The reason you love your mockery is because you love your sin. You love your pornography. You love your pornography. You love your fucking I don't you, love, you love all your vileness. You love your filthy mouth. You love everything that defiles. Yeah. You doing this, is that how you win souls? Yes. How? How? Preaching the gospel. You're not preaching anything. You run the people away doing this. Well, 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 maybe that's what you think, but the that's Bible says, the Bible says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every preacher. That's not preaching. That's not preaching. That's preaching. That's, 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 that's the gospel. You do those things, you're going to end up in hell. You're going to repent. That's not the gospel. You want little kids to say that? Well, what are you going to teach your kids? What? You need to teach your kids to fear God. The Bible says, the Bible says, in the fear of the Lord, there is strong.
strong confidence and his children will have a place of refuge. Amen. When you fear God, your children, children have a children? place of refuge. No, I, I'm married. My kids come because I'm married. That's not fornication. Oh, it's magic. Well, maybe it's your magic, kids bro. came through you fornication. Married, you, need, you, need you need to recognize that you your kids are going to take you to hell. You'll be married. That's the bottom line. you never fornicate. I am. So why judge other people that do it when you? Because they're, because if I keep if I kept fornicating, I didn't turn to Christ. I would end up in hell. <laughs> so what you're doing right now is being judgmental. No, what I'm doing is giving you the Bible and it's condemning your lifestyle. You're not and you won't repent. You're condemning my lifestyle. Right now, what you're doing. You're not living the family. I'm giving them hope, but you don't want to believe. Oh, I believe. Jesus said. Jesus said. Jesus said. I give life. He says, but you would come to me that you would have life. Many of you want to believe in easy believism that you can just believe that Jesus existed and go to church and you're going to heaven even though you keep living in sin. But but the Bible it's not going to happen that way. The Bible also says raise up a child and trust to do unspeakable. And so what you're doing right now, the child is going to do what you do. I want them to do what I'm doing. So right I hope now, my kids come so out right the witnesses. I don't want them to do what you're doing. The what you're doing. you're doing is out here mocking the Bible, getting wrong. No, I'm about to burn.
Hey, did you say you have a copy of the statue? 5036? Yeah, I can just look it up online, right? Yeah. It's on the paper? Yeah, yeah I'll, 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 I'll write it. Where were your kids? Okay, I'll code 50 three. Okay, I'll look it up. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I'm not trying to push, I just didn't know if that was in a line. Oh, okay. I just, I don't know. No, uh, if you had an advertising, if, if you got a permit to advertise right. for an organization, you have a table, you lay it down, you'd be fine. We'll just take our website off of those. If there's no website on there, there's no problem, right? In the skank. As long as it doesn't direct you somewhere or any kind of website or something. Right. Yeah. If it just said, like, if you're gone. Right. Can I say the website? Okay. Direction to it's okay. Hey, it's all right. Jesus is going to pay for it. It's all right. Jesus is going to pay for it. All right. Okay, so have a good night, buddy. All right, I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, Grandpa, I'm going to get rid of it. Vitaly's getting fired? Oh, dude, did God pay your ball?